Well, from music festivals to fashion festivals, front row at any fashion week means there's bound to be some entertaining moments. And at this season's South African Men's Wear Week, we weren't disappointed. Our very own Expresso fashion editor, Nick Strelitz, was on the scene checking out our country's hottest designers, rubbing shoulders with fashion insiders and perfecting his Zoolander gaze. It's an all-access fashion week pass. Day one at South African Men's Wear Week. Oh, South Africa, I didn't see you there. It's like, of course I saw you there. Guys, we are reporting for Expresso Live from South Africa Menswear Week, Autumn Winter 18. This is the only platform dedicated to menswear on the entire African continent. Can you believe it? I'm about to get my beauty touch-ups. I suggest you do the same. I'm ready. Curated by leading industry experts, only the best established and young designers are invited to show their menswear collections each season. We're catching up with Neo Serati, one of the most in-demand designers in South Africa right now. Neo, amazing job, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Neo, we saw a lot of men in dresses tonight. As, as a man who enjoys wearing a dress myself, tell me a bit about that. What was the inspiration behind that? Well, I think actually there's no such thing as a woman's piece. There's a pretty piece and there's a not pretty piece. So you pick what you love, pick what you feels right for you, wear that. Neo, we saw a bit of pop of red in your collection. I know ultraviolet is the color for 2018. It's been projected, but are we seeing a bit of a red? dominance over the ultraviolet this season? We feel red is uh, what's passionate and what's powerful, so I think red is more like the way to go. Ladies, from Augustine, Justine and Maria. Yes. Guys, congrats. It was an incredible show. Talk me through the collection a bit. What was sort of the go-to inspiration for you guys for this season? Uh, well, the go-to inspiration for the season was really just the kind of person that we designed for. And we feel like there's a lot of subcultures these days, and there's actually a person who doesn't really fit into any subculture. And then we also brought in softer fabrics because we feel like men also have a softer side. We've actually reused all of the fabric that we built up throughout the years of doing fashion. So it's completely recycled. Denims, wools, naturals. I think street doesn't necessarily have to be made out of things that are not sustainable. That's what our motivation was. Like, you need to look good and do good. Guys, there's Durban representation at South Africa Men's Wear Week. Anyone from Durban out there, you'll be very happy to meet this guy. Athen Kosti, how does it feel to be in Cape Town and show your pieces here at SAMW? While I was at school, I always looked up to this, to, to, to this uh, platform. So to, to get invited to such a platform, it, it's huge. And I, I, I graduated two years ago. So this is just a dream come true for me. Talk to me about the themes in your collection. What was sort of the standout theme for you that inspired what we saw here tonight? My collection is always military because military, I love structure. The, this year's theme was military transition, and it was all formed from the American War of Independence. And the, and the, and the collection had three compartments. We had uh, equality, liberty, and freedom. I'm about to go bombard some unsuspecting fashion followers and get their opinion about how things are going. Follow me. We're bombarding. We're bombarding. Move, move. Yatsi, come here. Yatsi, Yatsi from GQ. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. Sorry. Yatsi, we need your opinion. Tell me, what have you seen? What has been exciting for you at day one at South Africa Men's Wear Week? Color and accessories. Accessories changing the shift from traditional stuff. Really go bold with your accessories. That's what I love. There's one question I think all of South Africa wants to know. It's on their mouths, it's on their tongue. Brittany or Christina? Christina. Oh, okay, get out of there. Get out. No, that's that's the wrong answer. Follow me. SA Menswear Week is also a great launch pad for up-and-coming models like Chadley Van Vake. Do you have this laser-like stare, this model stare, which I absolutely love? You've got it, you've got to teach me it. So what you do is you just look at the camera and you bite on your jaws. So that's what you have to do, yeah. Oh, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try that, and you you grade me. So biting my jaw, it really hurts. But am I getting it? Now I wanna talk to the man behind the makeup, behind the beauty tonight. It's Keegan Kafan. Keegan, how are you, man? I'm good, and you? I am doing so, so well. What's going on here? This looks incredible. What is so basically, what are we seeing? Well, basically, what we're doing is we're encrusting his face in jewels. We're having a slight futuristic feel when it comes to the makeup this season, infused with a tribal element. Hit us with your biggest celebrities. Whose makeup have you done, and were they divas? I worked backstage at the Mariah Carey concert when she was in South Africa. She is such a spiritual being. It was really beautiful working with her. That's good to know. I'm a big Mariah fan, if you didn't know. More than just putting on a good show, SA Menswear Week gives designers 
founders and brands access to opportunities to build their businesses locally and abroad. Did I nail it, guys? I got my top tips at South Africa Men's Wear Week for Autumn Winter 18. Guys, we saw it all. We saw the models, we saw the designers, we saw the who's who of South African fashion. Hope you guys scored a couple tips because I know I sure did. That's day one, SAMW out. We'll see you day two, guys.